All right, so Rocky and I just made it up to this really cool new panel I hadn't seen before. Uh, some really cool things I'm just seeing for the first time. We got this huge, if I can grab this in the leash. Got this really big anthropomorph here, probably three feet across. Little, another little anthropomorph here. And as we scan across more down on this level, got another boulder here that's covered with some zigzag patterns. Rocky, come on, up. Come on, come on, up. Here's Rocky. All right, here's a uh, large rock with the zigzags. You can see this zigzag here that traverses across the rock. A couple other things, a couple of spirals, some more zigzags and lines across the top. And then some of the coolest stuff, if I can step up on this rock. Come on, Rocky, up, up, up. Come on, let's go up. Ours. These anthropomorphs and damn dog pulling the leash. All right, back. Anthropomorphs and zoomorphs here. So, similar to the trapezoidal man. Uh, it's really kind of a cool panel. Hadn't seen this one before. Let's see if I can get around to show a couple more close ups. Here, Rocky. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Up here. Come on. Wait, wait. All right. Got this tall, slender man or something. Some zigzags and other patterns up here. This guy here in the middle, in the, next to the trapezoidal man. And I think if I follow Rocky down the hole, we can get one more close up here. Wait, wait, come here, sit. All right, big sheep, spiral. More patterns. And overall, quite a cool panel. So I can get anything else that we're missing. All right, we're back at a rock that I haven't seen in several years. Here it is. It's got some really cool petroglyphs on it. Let's see if Rocky will move forward with me so we can take a look. Come on. So, we got... Wait, wait, Rocky. What appears to be hand glyphs down here at the bottom inverted hands and some other geometric lines don't really can't ascribe anything to it around this side wait hey sit sit we've got these variety of geometric lines this cross hatch and this zigzag going up the face. Up here on this level, more geometric lines. Really kind of a cool rock. Let's see if we can go around a little more. Come on Rocky, let's go. Up here we got another zigzag. As we go up, there's 
the space again. This appears to be rather old glyphs. Not anything extremely recent in the archaeological aspect. All right, this side is kind of barren, not a whole lot on it, but let's go finish going around as I get tangled up in the dog and untangled. Then on this side, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Rocky, sit, sit. On this side, got quite a variety of more geometric patterns. The pectin marks and zigzags. And, uh, just kind of a cool rock overall. It's a ways away from the trail. I've been go Rocky, wait, hey, wait. I've been hiking for a couple of hours now, so I'm starting to get a little tired. This other rock on this side has some unusual glyphs as well, such as this line that goes around this edge. No idea for it, but it goes for a good 20 feet or so. All right, wait, hey, sit. So, you figure it out. so there's this line travels across here, around this other side. And let's follow it around. Continues around this side here and goes, well, maybe continues around. Looks like it could. And I don't see any evidence of it beyond here. But there almost does seem to be something behind this lichen on this side. Besides Rocky, who's probably getting tired as well. Come here. Come on. Seems to be some sort of cliff in here. Is there anything underneath? Can't tell. But this line really has me intrigued today. Let's see if we can follow it all the way around. And in places here, it seems to be quite deep and must be intentionally carved. And it appears to end here on the same pace that we walked around to.